What's up gangsters? Welcome to your next Unity tutorial where we're gonna fix the, some of the problems that we have with this ball here. The main problem that we're kinda having right now is the bounciness factor. We've added the bounciness to the ball but not all the other game objects. So when we make a collision uh, it doesn't really know how to handle that and it's gonna add some friction to our ball, slow it down, and uh, we don't want that. So let's stop our game and add the bounciness to all of our walls and our bricks and our paddle. So just select a wall and uh, drag and drop the bouncy over there. Looks like I already got that one. Um, but do that to all of your game objects. And for a paddle as well, we're going to drag and drop this guy in there. And also for our brick. So let's drag and drop that guy in there. Um, and let's run this, see how that looks. And it looks like it didn't really help that much at all because well it didn't really uh, and that's because we have some different parameters that we're going to adjust here to get things going the way that we want to so let's go down to our physics materials and click on the bouncy material and we can go up here and set the dynamic friction and the static friction so that's kind of slowing us down each time we make a collision it's adding friction to our ball we don't necessarily want that so let's just hit a zero for both of those guys and run our game now see if that made any changes and it already looks a lot better um, just some other constraints we could add to our game uh, just simply is going to be uh, limiting or constricting where the ball can actually go. So let's click on our ball object and over here we have our constraints and as you can see we do, probably don't want any rotation in our game because it's not that crucial for this game so let's just check all of our rotations so now our ball won't rotate at all we don't have to worry about you know taking that into consideration and then the other constraint the freeze position we can check the Z position because we don't want the ball to go off on the Z axis if we go into our game view here you can see our ball is actually let's run the game looks like it's actually doing pretty well but there could be a possibility where it goes forward or backwards and then it won't hit our walls and that'd just be terrible and our game wouldn't wouldn't be any fun for anyone uh, so we could lose our ball off the side of the of the game. So that's why we added the Z constraint there. Um, another problem that we're going to have, let me see if I can get this going here. I'm just going to move our ball right up here and we're going to go into our script. I'm just showing this for example for X position. We're, uh, let's change that to 0.5 and let's change our Y to be like a 1. So it's relatively a low speed, right? What's going to happen is it hits the wall and it doesn't bounce off. It's just going straight up uh, there's no bounce effect. The reason that's happening is because there's a threshold and if our ball isn't going fast enough basically Unity is going to say well it wasn't going fast enough so we aren't going to actually bounce it off. Um, and so if it's going you know let's say our ball's going really fast but only in the Y position it's barely going over like this um, and our ball's going up and down up and down but barely off to the left we hit this wall and it's going to do the same thing just roll up the wall and just stay there for the entirety of the game. So we want to have a bounce no matter how slow it's going or actually turn our threshold way down. And how we do that is we're going to go into the edit, project settings, and we're going to go down to the physics settings. And up here you can see the bounce threshold is now at 2. You probably want to change that to be like a 0.1 or so. And go back to our game. Um, so now we have that bounce that we were looking for and it's not going to roll off the wall. So that's pretty much all we're going to need for our ball. Let's change our velocity back to be 1010. So we got a decent velocity. I'm going to save this guy. And everything should work a lot better now. Um, we got all our bounciness and everything seems to be going all right. And I just want to take a moment before we exit the tutorial to give some credit to Martin Finch of Cobalt Play. He's a game developer for iPhone and Android. He also has a basic tutorial series of Unity where it's just kind of a pawn game. And I kind of thought that was a genius concept of starting off simple. So that's why I created this Brick Breaker game that pretty much covers the same concepts as, as his tutorial. So I wanted to give him some credit. You guys should check out uh, his YouTube channel if you want. That's youtube.com forward slash how to make mobile games. Alright, so if you guys want, 
check that out. Subscribe to his channel. Say, hey, thanks for the inspiration. And also, it's awesome if you guys are looking to get into game development, which you probably are. He'll give some updates about what he's doing and how to make money and just what he's learned through the process. So you guys should probably subscribe to his channel because he's pretty cool. And uh, that's about it for this tutorial. We'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're going to do something else. So uh, we'll see you then.